What the flip is up, squad fam? I'm in New York and I have a new camera. It's the Canon C70 and it's awesome. A lot of people ask me what I was gonna do uh, for switching and I decided to go this route because I've been loving the R5 so much. That's what Steven's recording on right now. But the 8K RAW is a little bit much. <laughs> it's, uh, the thing I love so much about Canon video is the Log2 curve. I'm not the biggest fan of the Log3 curve. So the only option I had with log two curve was on my C200 in raw or the R5 in 8K raw. And out of the abundance of hard drives that I have in my studio, I figured it's time to make a change. So uh, I found this amazing middle ground in the C70 between the R5 and the C200 because I can now shoot log two in MP4. So my file sizes are like an eighth of the amount. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of life-changing so I do have an M1 Max computer that can handle raw but the playback is still a little dicey sometimes and it's amazing to have this option now with a firmware update I can do raw and 4k DCI here but I can also do 4k DCI with the log 2 curve which is just phenomenal so uh, today I just wanted to talk through like what the setup looks like what I've decided to do and what I still want to change because this is not a perfect setup by any means yet so I'll maybe get a little bit closer to you. <laughs> it's kind of loud of these trains. So we're in New York filming for Joe. He's doing a race tonight. And I wanted to make this upgrade and something different because the C200 didn't feel sustainable. It was shooting raw all the time. Every trip we were coming back with like three terabytes of footage, which is way too much. So now like yesterday I shot all day and I had like 80 gigs of footage which is just nuts. Let me talk about it and I, I'll get a little bit closer to you and there's a lot of people around here. It's, I chose this, I chose this location. People are looking at me weird. I hate it. Okay, anyway, uh, I chose the Condor Blue Cage for the C70. I like it a lot so far. I still kept the top handle from the original C70, which is nice. It's kind of kind of feels like sandpaper. I think it will, <laughs> won't feel like sandpaper over time, um, but it is ergonomically not the best. I wish the thumb thing was like up here, but the cold shoe's there instead. So it forces your hand back, which I don't really like. So I think I might just go with a small rig, like rubber handle uh, moving forward. But I do have a Noga arm here with my uh, small HD Focus 7. I do need a new monitor. This thing is like on the fritz. I don't know if it's a firmware thing with the C70, but the DCI display is kind of weird on here. There's like weird lines on it. Um, and I have my NTG off to the left here. Don't ask about this dead cat. I forgot to get a piece at B&H, so just don't ask about it. But uh, I don't like the microphone on the left side because it kind of bumps into my body too much. I really like keeping the camera tight and it feels kind of cumbersome here. The original mount is here, but I hate it on the original handle because you can't fit your hand in. So I think we're gonna have to figure out a rig where I put a quarter 20 like thing up and out over the top of the record button and all these buttons high enough so that I can reach in here to still hit the media, the on off switch, the record button, all that stuff. Uh, I also bought the six, sorry, I also bought the 15 to 35. Uh, we were gonna rent it for this trip, but they had a used one at our local camera store. So I was like, I'm gonna go for that. It's F2.8. It looks incredible on this camera body and it's native glass to the C70. So focus is extra good. Um, and then we rented the 70 to 200 for this trip as well, which has been absolutely insane. Both have image stabilization on the lens, so it could get a little funky sometimes, but most of the time if you're standing still or keeping good control of the camera and are cognizant of it, you get a really smooth image, which is incredible. Honestly, most of the time I'm trusting autofocus so much that I've just been keeping the LCD screen. What? The moment you said I'm trusting autofocus so much, this changed to someone else's face you. <laughs> okay, well, I trust autofocus on this camera. Uh, I've been trusting autofocus so much that I've just been keeping the LCD screen tucked in here. Even if I had the microphone on the right side, I don't think I would like it out all that much over here. Another reason why the microphone's a terrible placement on the left side. Sorry, Condor Blue, I don't really like that design. Um, yeah, <laughs> I do wish it was kind of a configuration that was up and out. Um, on a 256 card, I have about 300 minutes of footage uh, on the log two curve in 4K DCI, which is just insane. As long as I'm shooting right in camera, I have my scopes out, I'm exposing right, I get my white balance right. It's essentially like shooting raw on the C200, which is incredible. And uh, I have the big fat A60 battery, which is the same kind of battery as the C200. We got the bigger one. And this thing can last for, what do I have right now on it? 
This battery can last for over 300 minutes. So I'm pretty much set for dock coverage. I can do dual levels on the input one microphone. So I just switched that today. I'm really excited about that because if I have peaking audio, the other track can be set to lower and pretty much flawless audio on camera. We've tested it and it looks like the preamps, it, it looks like, it sounds like the preamps are just incredible straight out of camera. Uh, I did some interviewing with Joe yesterday and it just sounded very, very good. I just love falling back in love with with the sport of it and, and kind of who's who's running right now and who's running fast times. With him close to the camera. So, this is just a quick update. This is definitely not my preferred way of rigging this out. That will come with time and getting more time with it and figuring out the nuances of it but I just wanted to make an initial video to tell you that I switched and that I love this camera a lot and you'll see a lot more stuff about it. I know I don't talk about gear much but this is really fun and I like it a lot. Okay bye. <laughs> nice. See the difference when I like actually want to talk about gear? See, I, uh, I don't screw up as much when I want to talk about the gear that I want to talk about. I can just go right through. I barely have to cut. Uh -oh. What do you think about the C70? It's great. Wonderful. Great, thanks. This is, so technical. Yeah. It's actually great. New York, New York. I want to be a part. We got to go. We're late. <laughs>